So a confusion that we see all the time in our classes is students have a hard time differentiating between print and return. So I'm going to take this example from last time and we're going to take a look at why this is different, why they are different concepts. So I'm going to actually write another function and it's going to take a parameter, let's uh, just call it n, and it's going to return n plus 2. So before I use that, I'm just going to show something quickly about print. If I print instead of return this final value in the simple func function, we're still going to see some output to the console. We're seeing 30, but we're also seeing none. Now, we're seeing 30 because here on line 10, we're printing the result of this, but then what we are not seeing is that every function will, by default, return none if you don't return something else. And so when we call this print statement on line 14, it calls simple function, it does these things, it prints, right? So within the function you can print, and then it returns none to this print statement, which is why we're getting none. None is the absence of a value in Python. So you want to be very clear about these differences and to sort of uh, get this a little bit more solid, let's say I'm going to change this back to return and in another function I'm going to be returning n plus 2. So why don't we why don't we say y is going to get itself passed through another function. Okay? So we're changing y right here on line 10 by calling this other function from within simple func. And if I run this, we're getting 40. So let's walk through that. That's going to be y gets 6, and then y is going to have 7 added to it so that we get 13, and then floor divided by 2, which gives us 6, and then y is going to get another function y, which is just going to be 6 plus 2, right? Because we're passing in 6, n is now 6, n plus 2, and so y is, y is now 8, and we're going to return 5 times y, we get this result of 40. So that makes sense. But what happens if we try to print n plus 2 in this other function? What are we going to get? Well, we're getting an error because we can't add an integer to a none type, right? Remember, this is returning none. So we're trying to add nothing, no, none, to, to 2. Oh, sorry, to 6. Oh, sorry, we're not trying to add that. We're trying to multiply 5 times none right here on line 13. And we can't do that. Uh, Python's not going to let us do that. So here's a big case for the use of functions. Functions call other functions, right? This function is going to call this function. And we don't print here because we don't need to. In, in many cases, we're not going to be using print at all in actual live code. More often, we're going to be, we're going to have interdependent functions that call each other so that we can perform complex operations using these atomized or small, small use functions, right? simple functions that are stacked on top of each other to solve complex problems. And we do that because we do that with this property of returning values from function calls.